All right, guys, today's the day we're gonna put the power hub into our EcoFlow power kit right here. This is gonna go on the wall right there. It's gonna be a super simple installation because you notice how we always had this board, right? And look at this, they thought about everything. So open this up, boom, look at that. Now you have the right dimensions, including the four inch for air, the four inch gap you need here, and the two inch gap you need here, four inch you need here. Everything's figured out. You drill one, two, three holes, just like this, drill the three holes, and then you're gonna attach this bracket behind there. That's it, the, the whole template's already designed for you, perfect. And then you have two brackets, one down here and one on top, which we'll attach later. And this one right here, we're just gonna go ahead and put this unit over here. We lowered it down a little bit so that we have room for our EcoFlow console. And I want it to be more or less eye level, so it's easy for me. Now you can install this way out of place on the RV, but for me, I wanna be able to monitor it so it's easy to see. And this one's as easy as installing a little clip and attach onto here. We have a quick start guide that makes it super easy. So this is the entire layout of our ecosystem right there. And the part that we're installing is the power hub right here. And just make sure we have proper ventilation. All you gotta do is mount the bracket back there, put in the power hub right there. On the top and bottom of the power hub, you put in the screws on the bottom and at the top. Then once you have the power hub in the bracket, just put in those screws and you're good to go. So for the AC DC distribution, all you gotta do is mount the screws onto the box first and then just screw the box onto the wall. Yeah, the console is super easy. We'll get to that in a little bit, but yeah, pretty much attach the bracket to the wall and slide the console on and you're good. So that's what we're gonna do today. At the end of this video, we'll have the power hub installed, the distribution block installed, and the console installed. So let's get to it. These screws right here, we'll probably use a 3 32nd bit this bit right here, and use our power drill to drill through. So once the template's in, make sure it's nice and flat, and then you just got your holes right here. Super, super easy. It could not be any easier than this. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just drill through right here. One thing you wanna make sure is you cover up your area so dust doesn't fall down, especially if you have batteries or wiring down below. You know the drill. You know the drill. So let's start drilling. Boom, done. Boom, done. Boom, done. So there we go. Our holes are now drilled. We can take this off and we are good to go. So we got out the template and we have our three holes drilled. This is an EcoFlow plate and just go ahead and put our screws in. It's looking pretty good there. All right, tighten up our screws. Nice and tight. EcoFlow. M5 screws for the power hub. We're gonna go ahead and attach this bracket right on here with the word EcoFlow pointing out. All right, there we go. Just like that. Boom, that side's done. Bottom side, same deal. EcoFlow bracket for the bottom. Number one, number two. All right, number three, sweet. All right, we got two extra screws right here. Save those in case we need them later. EcoFlow power hub. So the back of the power hub looks like that. So that's what you see back there. And that will be able to just latch on to the bracket we installed. So just find where it latches on. Oh yeah, it slots in nicely. Sweet! And it doesn't slide left or right because the bracket holds it in real good. So that's our EcoFlow power hub installed. So now that we're gonna screw this in. All right, so for the holes on top right here, it's probably we want to pre-drill them. I'm gonna mark these. That way we can drill this. Got another one right here. Get that one. There we go. All right, so those are our screws on top. So let's mark this one right here. Mark the center point where we're gonna drill. Mark this one, and we'll mark this one so we can pre-drill those. All right, let's take down the power hub. All right, power hub coming down. Okay, so now we can drill our holes that we already marked out. One. Two. Three. Number four. All right, on top, same deal. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. All right, we're good. Let's mount our EcoFlow power hub unit back on. Yeah, solid. Let's go ahead and put on our screws right here. Nice. Number three. Number four. There we go. Let's get the ones on top. We can also use a powered screwdriver if we want to save some time. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Our EcoFlow power hub is now installed. With four screws down there, 
four screws on top, we're secured. Now, let's get this installed. This right here is gonna be the ACDC Smart Distribution Panel. Let's go. This panel is gonna sit right there, just like that. So we'll grab this and install the brackets first. EcoFlow ACDC Smart Distribution Panel. This is the panel right here. This panel looks pretty sweet. Boom, right there. We'll keep this all in its place while we work on it right now. So put that back there. Keep it nice and protected while we install our brackets. We're gonna look for our M3 12. We got 10 of these right here. Boom, right there. EcoFlow, that's gonna go against our wall. And then this part right here will mount right on here. Sweet, nice and smooth. Another one down here. Nice, and that looks good. EcoFlow, let's get the bracket on this other side over here. So same deal, here's our bracket. And one more right here. Nice and snug. Woo! There we go. EcoFlow ACDC distribution block with the brackets on. Let's mount this baby. This thing will go right here. We are going to make two small marks for our drilling right here and right here. Boom. Good to go. These are going to be smaller screws right here. Let's load up our 5 64th inch drill. Boom. Let's go. Hole number one. Boom. Hole number two. Right there. Sweet, so our distribution panel is gonna be right there. Just so that we can get the holes mounted properly, I'm gonna pre-mount this one. It's easier if you take out the cover, because you can access the screwdriver here a lot easier. And we get the second one too. There we go. Just gonna pre-screw this so that we can drill the other holes. So now we can pre-mark the other side over here. Right here, let's go ahead and mark our holes. Right there, right over here. All right, boom. Boom! Now, we can take this out. Done! Our panel is ready to go on. Nice. There we go. So now, let's get the other side. Screw this one in right there. One more right here. For the ACDC distribution panel. Alright, nice and snug. We're good. That's it, installed. There they are. Don't they look lovely? Our ACDC distribution panel is mounted. We'll get into the wiring later, but for now, we can put a cover on top. Of course, there's holes for screws here, but we'll leave it hanging there for now. And here's the cover on top. Makes it nice and frosty. Boom! EcoFlow ACDC smart distribution panel mounted. The last piece is our console. So the console mounts like this, EcoFlow power key console. It's gonna sit like this. This little bracket will attach to the wall and then this thing will slide into it and it locks in and holds it. And to pull it out, you just kind of, kind of pull on it and then it'll slide back out. It does come with double-sided 3M adhesive. So literally you can use adhesive, stick it there, stick it here, and then you're good to go. But I prefer just to mount it using screws, so we'll just leave this off. We don't need that. Eyeball it as straight as you want. That looks about right. Number one, number two. All right, we'll be using the M4 screws right here. There we go. And number two, the moment of truth, the EcoFlow console right here. Let's go slide it in. In three, two, one, slide in. Oh yeah, there we go, it's installed. So there you have it. The EcoFlow power kit is now installed. We got our three five kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery right here. I got my panel over here for the AC-DC distribution panel. We got the cover right here, goes on top, and then you screw it in, and then this cover goes on top of that. So you got a nice clean installation. You have the console right there. You got your EcoFlow power hub right there with your battery input, AC mains power input, your AC out, you got your solar and your alternate input. This system is gonna rock. In the next video, we're gonna power it up and we'll see how much power this thing can deliver. It's crazy.